Nope, it's no secret that most VPNs are tailored toward PC users, but it certainly doesn't mean that they're all a perfect fit for your PC. So for today's video, I went ahead and tested a few of the best VPN for PC options to see where they excel and where some uh, fall short. Oh, and I'm gonna hopefully sprinkle in a few helpful tips along the way. But first, a quick side note, when you decide to get one of the mentioned VPNs here, well, you're gonna find the best VPN deals right down in that description. Check those links when you're ready, all right? Okay, now a VPN's main job is to ensure the anonymity of your data. So, which VPN for PC is gonna be the most trustworthy? Well, all the providers we are looking at today claim not to be logging user data, you know, per their privacy policies, but there's always some other stuff we can check just to be sure. For example, those independent audits are a nice sign of transparency, while also having a privacy-friendly jurisdiction is gonna give you that little extra reassurance. But the safest, IMHO, are those wonderful RAM-based servers, because those babies, by their own design, can't even retain any data if they wanted to. And luckily, there are multiple top-grade VPN providers with those RAM-only servers. Oh, you know the ones like NordVPN, Surfshark, and ExpressVPN, so yeah, you've got some good options to choose from. And I think it's NordVPN who checks more of those security boxes. But look, whichever provider you choose to trust is gonna be completely up to you. All right, security is one thing, but how about those VPN apps themselves? How well do each of those work? Well, first up, let's take a look at NordVPN. Their VPN for Windows 11 and 10 app is pretty intuitive. Connecting to a server is as straightforward as it gets, but I will say sometimes the server connection is a little bit slower than I'd like. However, everything else on their Windows VPN app is pretty streamlined. All the main features are accessible in one click. Oh, if only it was that simple on their Mac app, hint, hint. But it was pretty straightforward when I needed to fiddle with settings. Like for example, do I need Spotify on my VPN connection? <laughs> no, not really, I don't think, do I? No. So excluding it with the split tunneling feature was as simple as adding it to this list. Now, my favorite feature has to be that threat protection. It's an ad blocker that doubles as an effective real-time malware protection tool. So if you wanna learn more about that and see all our tests, well, then yeah, you're gonna need to make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like all our videos so you can see those videos that cover all that fun stuff. Okay, now what about the shark? Yep, Surfshark. Can it be considered the best VPN for PC app? Well, let's see. Even though there's no server location map, the app is still easy enough to navigate. And I didn't find that many truly unique features here, but all the basics are covered, including a proper ad blocker. But for a few additional bucks, well, that Surfshark 1 bundle adds a full-fledged antivirus into the mix. A separate antivirus is gonna cost you way more. So yeah, that's definitely worth considering. And lastly, I recommend checking out Surfshark's extension. It helps seamlessly access GeoBlock streaming libraries, which, you know what, I'm gonna cover in just a bit. But first, the IP Vanish app, which gives off a real techie vibe, right? But it's actually not the most feature-packed VPN. I'd say this is an okay choice for those who just need a VPN and nothing else extra. But is it a pretty good VPN for Windows 10 and 11 candidates since it's pretty customizable, I guess? Like, for example, I can choose, in select cases, when I want the VPN connection to kick in. Like right now, I've set it to activate when it detects an unknown network. Now, if you're looking for the most simplistic best VPN 2023 apps out there, well, I'd have to recommend Atlas VPN and Pure VPN. Their interfaces are as simple as they get, and they're quite cheap, you know, affordable, but they are still reliable and best PC VPN options. However, picking the best VPN for Windows 10 or 11 isn't just about the apps. One more important factor is performance. Yep, you knew I was gonna say it. Any VPN is gonna slow your internet speed down, but the question is, by how much? So to figure that out, I ran a few speed tests using three different locations. Now look, all of the top VPN for PC picks here are super duper fast, and I can't really feel the difference unless I guess I'm counting right down to the second, the millisecond or whatever. So it's common for VPNs to have slower speeds with servers that are further away, but even despite that, NordVPN's performance results were still very stable. The speeds are definitely fast enough for a smooth browsing experience. Surfshark in some cases was a bit faster, but more or less performed on a similar level. 
but what surprised me the most was IP Vanish's performance. It retained high speeds even with the different locations. Now, good speeds are super useful for streaming, so haha, <laughs> yeah, let's go over that. So I already mentioned that I tend to use Surfshark whenever I want to access GeoBlock content, right? I constantly run tests to see how many different libraries I can sneak into, and Surfshark currently stands at the top of that list with a whopping 29 different foreign libraries. NordVPN can only get me through to 15 at the moment, while IP Vanish opens about 18. However, their capabilities kind of vanish. Mm, sorry about that. Especially when it comes to the other streaming services. While BBC iPlayer and HBO Max are pretty easy to access, when I tried to get through to DAZN or Hulu, ugh, I only got errors like these. Yeah, a bit disappointing. But if you want to get through to those platforms, well, then Surfshark and NordVPN are gonna do the trick for you. And as for torrenting, well, it's gonna depend on your preferences. Surfshark has all of its servers optimized for P2P, NordVPN has a separate specialized server pool, while IP Vanish, well, has no specifically optimized servers, but they don't limit peer-to-peer -peer traffic, so torrenting still works pretty good. However, PureVPN gets an honorable mention here since it has a pretty rare port forwarding feature, even if it's behind an additional paywall. And speaking of paywalls, why don't we jump into the pricing? Yep, which VPN has the best value? All right, let's break things down. IP Vanish currently stands out as the priciest best VPN for Windows 11 or 10 on this list. <laughs> a little twist there, huh? But if you need consistently high speeds in distant areas, well, maybe it's worth it. NordVPN does cost a little bit less, especially if you apply that special coupon, and it's also the most feature packed, especially with regards to its security capabilities. Now Surfshark stands out as my best VPN for Netflix, and it's also quite cheap when it comes to their long-term plans, because they don't limit the simultaneous device connection, so it's perfect for sharing your account and splitting the costs, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know which provider you're thinking about getting, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, no, wait. You can access the best prices that we could find via this box on the side. Now, that's definitely it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.